Hello everybody, I hope you're all fine. Today uh, I'm gonna explain the modified internal rate of return. It's uh, continuing uh, the capital budgeting methods. We previously explained the NPV and the IRR. And let's have a quick definition about what MIRR, modified internal rate of return. It is set to correct some of the problems with the regular IRR since MIRR involves finding the terminal value of the cash inflows compounded at the firm's cost of capital and then determining the discount rate that forces the present value of the terminal value to equal the present value of the outflows. So what that means, let's explain. So we are having our example the same one. So uh, our investment here, we have an outflow of $1,000 cash outflow in 2015 first year in the project expected cash flow is $500 etc $400 $300 and the last year of the project 2018 is $100 okay so what we are gonna do now we are going to calculate the future value of of reinvesting the uh, the cash flows so if we reinvest the $500 uh, for the period uh, until 2018 which is the uh, three years how 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 much we are we are going to get it's gonna be 665 dollars from where i got that number it's from the table uh, the future value table uh, there is a link in the video you can just check about it in order just to know which uh, the uh, the factor I'm, I'm multiplying by which is 1.33 for the two years it's 1.21 at the 10 percent rate just to know okay so we end up with uh, 1597 dollars which is uh, the the total of the future uh, cash flows after the investment okay that's uh, compounding them so now we want to know what's the modified internal rate of return for our project uh, to make it easier on Excel it's so easy you just come here and just write equal I MIRR open brackets uh, you are just going to have all, uh, from B3 until uh, uh, I uh, from B3 you are just to F3 you are going to do it like that exactly and then just l let's do it here again MIRR tab take all this when you make the comma finance rate which is the 10% we're ha having here which is the cost of capital make another comma so is the reinvestment rate as you see which is the same 10% it might be a different one okay load the parentheses just enter you got the 12 percent because not 12.1 because i'm just making the decimals just go up here and here it is okay so accept or reject the projects the mirr is over the cost of capital so we're gonna accept it the uh, formula for uh, for the MIRR, the uh, MIRR is uh, PV, the present value which is the 1000, present value of outflows, okay? Say if here is, if 2015 is negative, so it's gonna be 1500 equal the future terminal value or, or the terminal value, divided by 1 plus L, uh, MIRR to the power of N, just let's correct it. MIRR okay so that's the formula that's how we calculate it if you have any questions just uh, leave me a comment and I do my best to answer you and wish you a good day and bye bye